And with concerns over the ERCOT power grid failure in central and eastern Texas last year, El Paso Electric opened its doors to one of its power stations to show off its weather upgrades. Previously, Borderland power stations were designed to endure and operate under 10 degree weather. As ABC 7 Solar Science reports, El Paso engineers say upgrades can provide power to our home without major failure at even 10 below degree weather, an improvement of 20 degrees. We've gone through and, and um, added some heat tracing. We've added some insulation. David Rodriguez is the senior director of power generation. He and other engineers are in charge of upgrading the power company's three main power stations like this one, the Newman power station in the northeast. Well, right now we're, we're designed to a minus 10 degrees, right? But um, the challenge is if it's, if it's a prolonged uh, extreme weather event, right? Similar to what we saw in, in central and eastern Texas last year where it was seven, eight days of below zero degrees, then that's, that, that's where the unforeseen situations come in. This is one of the modifications that they've made. They've actually the one, two, enclosed three. this panel right here and there's heating inside so that they can get better readings. Rodriguez and his team identified key components that were exposed to the elements and would have an impact on readings used to make necessary adjustments. So we were able to identify some of these locations that are seeing uh, accelerated wind patterns where we were able to come back in, create wind breaks with uh, with actual structures around the instrumentation equipment. This equipment also had to be fully protected from the elements. It cools down the system when it overheats, and much like the radiator on your car, it can shut down the entire system if gone unregulated. Rodriguez points out crews are already working on upgrading the system for the summer season. In the Northeast, Saul Signs, ABC7. And Rodriguez and tells a oh go ahead. That was Soul Science reporting. Rodriguez tells ABC7 that power sir, power usage is greater during the summer months than the winter when the borderland sees high temperatures for an extended period of time.